guys what is up welcome back to Dorney Park so it's good to be here you know it's a really fun Cedar Fair Park and we got Mike and Tom uh, who are gonna be here in a few minutes but um yeah the process to get in for, uh, for COVID-19 actually was pretty easy um, very similar process to what Six Flags was doing and I actually finally got a Cedar Fair Platinum Pass over here so finally you know, I got it for Christmas last year we finally got it and it's really cool another thing, another thing to note is that Wildwater Kingdom is closed so uh, I don't know if that was open already this season. Um, I doubt it was open, but it is closed right now. So as you can see, and uh, Talon's right over there. Fantastic B&M invert. So very excited to get back on that. But it's going to be a fantastic day here at Thorny Park. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's going to be a lot of fun. So we'll see you guys once we get off some coasters. All right, guys, just got off a of Talon. And how was that ride, dude? It was pretty good. So it's Tom's first time here. How do you like Dorney so far? Uh, it's really good. And when the only invert you've ridden this year was Batman at Great Adventure, the bar is pretty low for inverts. <laughs> yeah. And this was just really good. And I haven't ridden Great Bear and Alvin Geist in over a year. So this was this was a nice invert to get Yeah. Going. How was it, Mike? This ride was a lot, a lot of fun. It was really smooth. The zero G was whippy. Overall, a very intense and fun ride. Yeah, it's, it's really good. It it's not as intense as Raptor or Batman, but it's still like in between because it's like that new gen D and M mixed with the old school, and I like that. Yeah, it's it's just it's nice and smooth, and it really is just a fantastic ride. So I think we're going to get the wild mouse out of the way now. Thank God. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty good day. We'll see you guys once we get off some more rides. All right, guys. So we just got off of Hydra, and uh, how'd you like it, Tom? Uh, it was different than the other four listings I've ridden, so I really liked it. I'm not gonna try and rank between this Dominator and Bizarro what my favorite was, but it was really cool. I liked it. Yeah, and the JoJo roll on this is actually really cool. Obviously, it was the first coaster to have a JoJo roll. Then I got Copperhead as well. But you know, the area it's in is really cool. The ride's a little shaky, but it definitely is a really fun BM floorless, and uh, yeah, it's just such a good ride. So. Anyways, that's it for Hydra. I think we're heading over to Demon Drop now, so we'll see you guys once we get off that. Oh my god, so we just got off a Demon Drop, and Tom over here actually rode Stuntman's Free Fall Great Adventure, so what do you think of this? Um, so I'm sure back, with, back in those days, I was really afraid of rides, and I'm sure I probably like pissed my pants in fear <laughs> on that when I was little. But this was, like, I don't know why I did. That was awesome. Yeah, that was so fun. It was fun. weird not to see Chiller at the top, like, you know? I'm just, I was kind of used to that, but... Yeah, it was just as bit as good as I remember. So. Oh yeah, what do you think, Mike? I thought it was pretty good. I mean, the uh, the element of surprise at the top, I love that. Yeah, it, it still got me. But that's I love that ride. One of those rides that gets me every time. So that right now we're going to Thunderhawk and Steel Force. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. We'll see you guys once we get off. All right, guys. So we're over by the former plot of Stinger. Uh, here's where it was, and damn, do I miss that ride. Stinger was so much fun. And it's really weird seeing it like this. But, uh, you know, some rides get removed eventually, and unfortunately, Stinger was one of those rides. They also have the flying scooters back there. But um, Possessed over here is actually closed. So, apparently, there was a piece of track missing uh, not a long time ago. I don't see that, though, so I'm not sure. I don't see anything, but, uh, yeah, this ride's pretty good. Um, the impulses are a lot of fun, and uh, hopefully, you know, uh, apparently, this ride is, well, some people say it's getting removed. Some people aren't. Who knows? I'll have to wait and see, but it is a pretty fun ride, and uh, hopefully it does stay along with the new coaster if they get it. Oh my God! So we just got off the Thunder Creek Mountain Log Flume, and uh, Mike got the worst of it. There, see, he's kind of disappointed. Tom barely got anything. Yeah, it's all in the pants. Yeah, and I got a little soaked. <laughs> Look at this man! What are you doing, bro? I'm trying to dry my leg. <laughs> it, it was a pretty good log flume. Uh, it was a little long, but you know, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's been a fantastic day here at Dorney Park. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a great rest of the day. So we'll see you guys once we have some more rides. All right, guys, so we just got off of the whip. We rode that and Monster, and uh, both are two really classic attractions. Now, Monster is kind of weird because it kind of messes with your neck a bit, but it's still a lot of fun. And the whip is just a classic ride. It's actually celebrating 100 years this year in 2020. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty good ride. Glad Dorney still has one of these, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So they're going to play some games now because Mike wants to win something like Mario from Nintendo. So that's been pretty cool. But uh, overall, it's been a fantastic day here at the park. Uh, got some great classic attractions here like the Whip and Monster. But we'll see you guys once we get off some more rides. All right, so we just did the really shitty Wild Mouse at this park. And oh my God, was it terrible. Um, so yeah, I was sitting next to Tom and the whole time, it was just, oh my God, the ride was so bad. Mike, what do you think of Wild Mouse? 
Not good. Tom, what do you think? Good on opposite day. <laughs> Bro, honestly, it's like the hills were smooth on like dark night, but everything else was shit. Like, I don't know. It's, is also a second gen wild Yeah. And they're both different companies. Like, this is Mauer, Dark Knight's Moth. So. Oh my god. Mauer's so bad, dude. I mean, I'm not saying all the coasters are bad because obviously, you know, live track's pretty good, but <laughs> this wild mouse sucks. Anyways, though, that's it for now. I think we'll record one more clip heading out of the park. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. We'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today's video. I um, hope you guys all enjoyed it. It was a fantastic visit here at Dorney. And uh, let's start off with Tommy. What did you think of today? It's your first uh, time here. Yeah, first visit here. Uh, the expectations, I didn't really have any. I went in blind for all the coasters, and I was really surprised. Uh, a couple new favorites here. I really liked everything I went on. I got some cool merch. Uh, hopefully, I'll be back. It's close enough to come back sometime soon. So, yeah, hopefully, I'll come back another time and get to uh, experience the rides again. Yeah, and uh, Mike is over here. What do you think of today, Mike? Good visit? Yeah, I thought it was a good visit. Sorry. I'm thinking about getting one more shirt. I was about to say, grab exactly. Yeah, man's, man's going crazy with buying shirts, dude. Anyways, though, it was a fantastic day here at the park. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. I'll have both of their channels in the description down below. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.